In this video we're going to create the body, arms and legs, but just before we do that I'm going to do a couple more things on the head. I want to put some teeth in down here. So uh, I'm in object mode at the moment, but uh, I'll hit tab and go into edit mode. Now these are going to be very cartoon teeth, they're just going to be in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into edge mode for a moment and just move this across to even out these teeth. There's only going to be four of them, it's a cartoon character. If you wanted to do more elaborate teeth, you could do them as a separate um, cube. Uh, put uh, Add a cube into this model and extrude it out and place them in there to have more elaborate teeth. but. Uh, Cartoon is fine for these. So I'm going to go into face mode and select these uh, faces at the bottom. I'm going to come over here to the material editor and go plus and new and assign. I'm putting a teeth texture in there. So we want to make that shiny, so I'm up in the specularity and the hardness, make it look a bit glossy, a little bit more. Uh, it's a bit white at the moment, so I'm just going to make it slightly, slightly off-white. Looks a bit more correct. So uh, I want to extrude these, but I want to extrude them individually. So there's a button in the tools over here, and I'm just going to click on that once and I'm going to um, right click it and do that because I've got my clipping on in mirror. So I go back to the um, modify tab, switch clipping off on the mirror. Always forget. Now I'm going to come back over here to the tool and extrude individual. Move them up. They still like this, they still look like they're stuck together, but I think I should be able to click on them and scale them down and they'll separate. Yes. So uh, I might just select this again and extrude a second time. That'll just square the teeth off. Make them look a bit, a bit better. So now I'm going to do the same on the top. Uh, select the uh, appropriate now, so the next one's back, I know. Select the appropriate. Uh, notice how I'm positioning this view as well, so I can see them. So clipping's off, fine. I'll extrude individual. Oh, undo. I haven't applied the uh, texture yet, it's material yet. So I'll come back to the material, which I haven't named yet. So I'll type in teeth. Enter. And I'll assign that to those uh, faces as well. And I'll go extrude individual, bring them down a little bit, and then do it a second time. And now this one looks a little bit big, so I'm going to click on it. I'll go control plus, so I just select all of those top polys and just scale it in a bit. So it looks a bit more even with the other ones. That's looking a bit better. Now I'll just save after that. It's always good to save after each piece. Now I thought we'd put an eyebrow up here as well. So I'm going to right click on these three, on those two, two faces. Just make a very simple one. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to put it 45 degrees to make it easy to see. And I'm just going to go E and right click and give it a little scale. And I'm just going to shape it a little bit. So I'm going to grab that edge in the middle. I've changed to edge mode down here. I'll grab that edge in the middle. I'm just changing my tool back to the um, grab tool. I'm just going to scale. I'm just going to move that up. Sorry, not scale. Now we can change this. Expressions later, we'll just uh, 
make it very simple for the moment. So I'm selecting that again. I'm going to go E once more and just move it out a little bit. Just to, to uh, give it a bit of relief. Now I'm just going to go Control Plus to select the whole lot there. And I'll come across and just put my hair uh, texture onto it, assign it. Uh, so that's our head sort of pretty much done. I'm still a, that nose is still a little bit annoying there, so I'm just going to come in and grab those three polys and smooth vertex again. Whoops. After I've put on the Thing button. Okay, so that's given me a nicer curve and that looks much better. So um, now we want to do our body. So I'm just tabbing back in again. So I'm going to just flip over to the bottom. I could go Control 7 as well to get to the base and I want to select these four polys. And I'm just going to grab them and move them apart to make it a bit wider. I'm going into point mode and I just want to uh, round these points out a little bit. So I'm just going to pull this one down. Uh, I'm going to pull these ones in a little bit. And I'll pull that one out a bit. Okay, so that's rounded that out. I'm going back into face mode. I'll hold the shift and select those polys. Uh, I'll go E once and I'll right click. You see how that rounds it a little bit more. I might scale that down a little bit. I'm going to go one. And uh, this guy's not going to look as muscular as this guy uh, is. This character's not going to look as muscular. So I'm going to go E and scale down a little bit. Uh, left click. There you go, and scale down a little bit more, and I'll scale that in by going S and uh, extrude down a bit more, I should have said, scale that in a little bit. Uh, so now we want to go in and extrude down once more to about the base of the uh, armpits. Then I'm going to hold the Alt key down and right click on this uh, vertical line here to select the loop. And I'll go E once more and scale and move that out, slide it out, and pull it down with the grab tool. Uh, I'll just move that out even a little bit more, just to get to the contour of the body. So now I uh, I'll just flip this over so you can see he's a bit thin at the moment. So I'm going to go three, and the body's coming off at a funny angle. So I'm just going to go control plus plus twice. Let him go a third time. And I'm going to left click here. I want to rotate this back down. So uh, I'm going to change my pivot point. That's why I've left clicked here. Change my pivot point to 3D cursor. And I'll go R on the keyboard. And rotate that down so it's square. And uh, now I'll go control minus to bring that back to about there. And uh, I'm going to change my pivot point back to medium point down here. And I'll change my tool to the uh, scale tool. I'm going to scale this out like so. And I might move it down a little bit. I'm going to rotate it just a, a little bit, just to straighten it up. Okay. Um, I want these lines straight, but I want to straighten these lines down here. So to do that, I'm just going to select the faces on the bottom. I'm not holding the shift doing this. Just a couple there. Make sure you always look at them 3D. Uh, and I'm going to use the scale tool to um, just straighten those by pulling them square. I'm going to go into point mode and select this uh, loop here. And I'll scale it square while I've got the tool. And I'm going to um, 
Pull it down a little bit, maybe bring it back. I'll select this one. Again, uh, I'm alt clicking to select the loop in point mode. So I'm just selecting the loop. In fact, I'll do it in face mode. I'll select in here. Uh, well, I do that, I'm just going to even this up a little bit. Now I'll select that loop by alt clicking on the line. I'll go three again and I'm going to scale that with the scale tool. Move it forward a little bit. Now, I'll have to put another cut in here to describe this chest. I'm not going to give it such a big pectoral. But, uh, so I'm going to go Control R, which is to do a loop cut, just the same as we did in the head. And I'll left click that. It can stay in the middle, so I'll right click it. And uh, I'll get my scale tool, scale it out a bit, and move it forward a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go one again. And uh, this could be a bit wider just in here as well. So I'm going to get the scale tool. And again, this is going to depend on your, um, on your particular design. Okay, so I'm going to just extrude this body down now. So I'm just going to select the base. Whoops, go into face mode. Select the base. Again, holding the Alt key down to select that loop to make it quicker. And I'm going to go E, extrude down to about here. You want to keep these roughly the same size, the, uh, the distance between the faces of the polygons. I'm going to scale that in. You can see this needs to be scaled in, but I'll come back to do that. I'm going to go through to get the right view. Scale that in a little bit. Get my move tool and move it forward. I'm going to go one again. Uh, I might as well fix this loop while I'm here, so I'm just changing to point mode. I'm going to alt click on this horizontal line. Select the loop. Change my tool to the scale tool. And just scale it in at that point. Again, I'm just using this as a rough guide, this drawing. Uh, it's going to look a bit heroic for the face. Uh, so I'm going back to face mode, selecting this base again. And again, I'm clicking on the line to select the loop. Going one, and just going E and dragging it down. Uh, I'll scale that in a bit while I'm here. Go through, scale it out a little bit. Move it back. Go one. I'm going to go here again. Extrude it down a little bit more. So I need to uh, scale out a bit for the hips here. So I'll change my tool. Scale tool, scale out again. Go to the side view. So we need to scale out. A little bit here as well. I'll go E, we'll go from this side for a change. Oops, bring it down. Uh, get the scale tool, scale it in. We'll go one, look at it from the front. Uh, we might leave it there actually. Uh, we'll take it down just a little bit more. Okay, so uh, now we want to create a crutch in here. So I'm just selecting these two, holding the shift, just moving them in closer. I've got to be careful they don't touch like that and join up because of the clipping. We'll just keep them a little bit apart. So like so. A little look at that. Um, so we'll uh, select these two. Polys, just cut them X faces, and we'll just round this out a little bit. So we'll go into point mode, and uh, it's not too bad actually. I don't mind sort of an oval sort of shape. So I'm just changing it a little bit. Uh, I'll select that as a loop again by holding the Alt key and right clicking on the uh, line. We'll go one. So I'll just extrude these legs out now. We'll come back for the arms. 
So I'll just go E, come down just a little bit. Uh, just to, to leave a bit of geometry there. I'll go E again, come down about halfway on the um, thighs. I'll scale that in a little bit. I'll go E again and come down to just above the knee. I'll scale that in again. Move it over a little bit to, to follow the drawing roughly. Uh, now I want three joins here or, or two more extrudes on the knee because it's a joint. So we'll put one right in the middle, scaling that down a little bit. Here another one just below that. Scaling it a little bit and just moving it over a little bit as well. So that'll be our joint of the knee. Uh, possibly could have gone a little bit further down, so I'll pull that down a little bit more. I'm going to go E now and come to where the center of the um, calf is. And I'm uh, going to go S and scale that out a little bit. I'm going to have a look at this side, so I haven't been um, sculpting here as you can see. So I probably should have been looking to the side as I've been doing this, but I'll fix it up now. So I'll just select this loop by clicking Alt, get my scale tool, scale it out a bit. Um, I'm going to have to move it forward and move some of the crutch forward as well. Let's scale that out. It's an easy thing to do to forget and get carried away. In fact, it's probably much easier to start again, but I'll continue now. Uh, so I'm scaling this out. Um, Back a little bit. Uh, I'll come in here. I'm just going to um, go Z for a sec. Pull that forward a little bit. And the same here at the back. I'll go back to point mode and use my um, loops again, much better. I'm just going S Y to scale here just so I don't have to keep changing the tools. So it's just a shortcut. Uh, again, I'm selecting that with the uh, Alt key for the loop and S Y to scale it, then moving it into the appropriate place. Much better to do this as you go. So S Y for the scale. Okay, almost fixed. There's a bit of calf there that I'll have to um, just move this up for. And that's why I'm going to scale that out. And we'll scale a little bit more. Okay. So now we can keep going. It's a bit pointy up there. I'll we'll just come in and pull that in a little bit so that Describes the shape a bit better. I will come back and do some more sculpting later. So let's go one again. We might go Z so we can see it a bit clearer. Again, we're following this side more. We're sculpting on the right side. So um, we're just going to select this loop and continue extruding. So E again. Uh, we'll come down. We'll just simplify this actually a bit. We'll come down to the uh, ankle. Scale it in there, move her over, we'll go through and have a look. A little bit more of a scale, pull it back. Okay, so uh, again, this is more realistic than I'm actually going to do. I'm just going to move that angle down a little bit further. I'm going to go three to come onto a side view. I'm going to go Z. Now, again, we're going to make a simplified shoe here rather than a foot. So I'm going to go A, I'm going to go B and select these points just at the back, I'm in point selection mode. 
I'll go E to extrude that out and let's pull it back and I'm just going to go F for fill which will just make it into a heel I'll just go three again just pull that down pull it back a little bit more uh, now I want to select the points at the front now so I'm going to go A to deselect those points and go B and just drag out a box selection like so and I'll go E and extrude that out keeping base flat so I'll get it out to about there I'll get my scale tool and flatten that by pulling on the green one and you can see it's a bit high here so I'll change my pivot point to a 3D cursor just left click down the base here and use my scale tool to just pull that down I'll go E again extrude out a little bit more I'll left click down the bottom here and still using the pivot as 3D cursor pull that down a little bit more I'll go E and extrude out a bit more uh, um, left click down the bottom it should have been a little bit straighter there but I will I will pull that down a little bit I'm going to go 7 so I'm looking at it from the top view I'll click in the middle I'm just going to taper that in, in a bit I'll go 3 again so I'm looking from the right view I'll go E and I'll extrude out this last bit for the toe and I'll left click down the bottom and scale it down I'll go 7 and I'll scale a little bit more there probably too much actually uh, so I just want to seal this up again this is more like a shoe than a foot uh, I'm going to go Z so I can see it a little bit clearer I'm still in point mode so I just want to um, reduce the number of points here so I'm going to select two points and go Alt M for merge and just click center I do the same over this side select two points go Alt M for merge at center now I want to select this loop so I'll just hold the Alt key down and right click on the loop and now I'll just hit the F key to fill it so it's sort of creating sort of a, 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 a bit of a shoe I'll go back into face mode and select the faces on the bottom of the um, foot and I'm just going to hit E and right click that sort of puts a sole on the shoe flattens it out notice how when you you uh, do a couple of extrudes together it uh, really flattens the object okay so let's have a look that's looking fairly good let's just save that we will extrude the arms out now so I'm going to come in and select these two polys and I'm going to go um, X and, and delete faces now I want to round this out a little bit more so I go into point mode and just changing this uh, pivot point back to medium point I'm getting my move tool and I'm just going to move that in a little bit and up a little bit I might move this one up a little bit this one in this one over to the center a little bit more okay so now I'll just select that loop by holding the alt key down go back to a front view now I might just uh, go R and rotate that square more square and uh, I'll scale it up a little bit so I go to the scale tool just scaling it, scaling it a little bit higher then move it up a little bit higher so it matches our drawing a little bit better so um, yep so now I'm just going to go E and extrude out uh, to here on the muscle <coughs> excuse me now I'm going to go E and extrude out to here again I'm just going to do that in scale so that I've got that sort of little not really a muscle bulge but we'll make that fix that up later uh, I'll pull this down a little bit more so it's sort of more halfway down the calf scale a little bit more 
Now again, I want three at the uh, elbow. So I'm going E, coming down to the elbow. I want two more. The scale went up a little bit. So I'm going to go E and come halfway down the uh, arm. Scale it right down. And now I'm going to come to the wrist. So E, let me come down to the wrist and scale that down. Just move it down a little bit. And that's not looking too bad. We might come in here and um, I'm just getting the edge tool so I can grab both points at once. Bring that up a little bit. If I wanted to define that muscle more, I could cut in here. Uh, I could also cut across here. Yeah, let's do this one. So I'm going to go Control R, cut across here, just right click, and just pull that out so it defines that muscle a bit better. Okay, so now we want to do the hand. Uh, I'm actually going to do a little bit square and then rotate it so it matches the drawing more. So I'm going to left click over here and add uh, a cube. Again, I could have went Shift A and added the cube. I'm just going to go S and scale this down. Again, this is going to be a, a three-fingered hand rather than a realistic one. I'll get the scale tool. Scale it down this way. I'm doing the palm at the moment. I'm going to go seven. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'll just move it across. I'll go one here. So I want to put a couple of cuts in this. I'm just going to sort of a better angle to do this. I'll go control R. I move my wheel on my mouse to get two cuts that way. I left and right click because I want them centered. I'll go Control R again, uh, move it so I see the pink line. Uh, I move my wheel to get two cuts and left and right mouse clicks to keep it centered. Now I'm going to grow, uh, I'm going to extrude the finger out of this poly here, uh, that flat there. So I'm changing to face mode, selecting the face, the polygon. Uh, now I'm going to extrude out just a little bit for the knuckle. Uh, I might scale that actually, it's a little bit big. Uh, I'll extrude out a little bit more for uh, the first joint. And again, we want three on the first joint. And then I'm scaling out to the next joint. And I want to extrude again. Sorry, not scaling, I'm extruding. Scale that down a little bit. Extrude out again, so I've got my three segments there. Scale a little bit more. Extrude out to where the nail is, and extrude out to the tip of the finger. I'll scale that a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going into point mode, and I I want to um, just sculpt this a little bit. So I'll click on this, uh, scale it down a little bit. Maybe move it over and pull it up a little bit just to create that uh, that uh, joint there a little bit better. I'll click on this joint, scale it down a little bit, move it up a smidge. Now, while I'm here, I'll just go into um, edge mode, grab that edge, pull it back a bit just to get a nicer shape on the finger. I'll select this poly here. Uh, that face here, I've changed to face mode. I'm going to create a nail now. Now, you, you may not want a, a nail on your character, it's up to you. I'll go one. I'm going to go Z to make it a little bit easier. Zoom right in here. So I'm going to go E and scale down, left click. I'll go E again and scale up, left click. And then I'll go R and rotate it back. I'll go Z so you can sort of see it. All right, I'll go control plus once and I just want to go S and scale that a little bit to get past that lip there. I'll show you that again. I'll undo. I just want to scale that back a little bit to create that little lip there. And if I deselect, you'll see it's sort of a nail. I'll go tab uh, so you can see a little bit better. 
Again, this just needs smoothing. So in object mode, I move across here and smooth it. And that looks better. I'll go tab to go back into um, model mode. I'm going to go seven. So I'm looking at the hand from above. Above, and I want to copy and paste this now for the other two fingers. So um, I'll select the tip of the finger and go Control plus 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 because it's going to be on the screen. Control plus 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 till I get back like so. I'll go um, seven again. It's easy to do this from the top view. I'm going to go Shift D and just drag one off, a copy off, a duplication off. I'll go S and scale that down. Uh, I'll pull it back a little bit. So I want to uh, copy it again or duplicate it again. So I'm going uh, Shift D once more, dragging to the middle, and I'll scale this one up because it's the um, middle finger. Now I want to join these on, so I'm just going to. Um, Rotate my view to a bit of a side view. Uh, I'm in face mode, and I'll select this face first. And I'm just going to go X and delete that. Now I want to join these two together, so I'm going into point mode. I'll select this loop here by holding the Alt, get Alt key down, and right clicking, and I'll hold Shift and the Alt, and select the second loop. And I'll go W for the Specials menu, and come down to bridge edge loops and that'll join it on so the same for this finger so I go back into face mode delete the uh, face that's there uh, go into point mode and alt select that loop hold the shift and alt and right click to select that loop go W and bridge edge loops so that's the fingers. Uh, the palm and everything needs uh, sculpting yet, but we'll get to that later. So now I want to do a thumb. So I go back into face mode. I've selected this polygon in the middle here. And I'll just zoom in. Now I want to do a duplicate of it, so I'm going to go Shift D and drag it off, but right click. So it goes back to where it was. And I'm going to right click on the uh, face behind it and go X and delete it so that this one that I duplicated takes its place. I want to have it selected and I want to go 7 and I want to open it up. We're making a flap for the thumb. I want to open it up like a door. So I'm going to left click just in here at the end of it and I'm going to change my pivot point to 3D cursor. And I'm going to hit R on the keyboard and just rotate it open about 45 degrees. I'm just going to uh, rotate my view down, zoom in here, change my pivot point back down here to medium point, go into point mode and select this point. Make sure there's no other point selected. Uh, this point and this point. So, you know, go A first then. I'll do shift in, select two points, go Alt M for merge, Alt M, and hit the center. Now I want to do the same down the bottom, so I'm just zooming in and zooming out. Select one point, select the second point, Alt M for merge at center. Now I want to select the three points on the top of the flap and go F for fill. And do the same on the bottom. One point, hold the shift, two, three, and F for fill. Now I want to select this loop. So I'm going Alt, right clicking on the line. I'll go seven. I want to extrude this thumb out. So I'm going to go E, extrude out to the first joint. I might go S and scale that down a little bit. I'll go E again, and E again, and extruding that out. Then E again to go to where the nail would be, and 
E once more, extrude once more to go to the tip of the thumb. And I'm just going to go F to fill that. I'm just closing up that numbers column. We don't really need it there. Uh, now it's a bit thick this way, so I'm going to go Control plus 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 to uh, select the thumb, change to my scale tool, pull down on that so that it sort of becomes a better a better sort of size. Uh, I'm going to go seven. What I like to do is uh, go into face mode, grab this face here, get my grab tool, and pull it back a bit just to shape that a little bit nicer. I'm going to create a um, nail here. So I'm going to do it from the top because the nail should be on the side of the thumb. I'm going to go, I'll go Z to make it a little bit easier to see. I'm going to go E and extrude in a little bit. I'll go E and extrude out a little bit. I'll go R and rotate that back in a little bit. I'll go Z so we can see go. I'm going to go Control plus once and then go S and scale that back just to get that ridge back behind there. But let me undo it. So I go S and just scale that back in a little bit. Okay, that's a, sort of not a great shape. So I'm um, just going to get my scale tool and maybe scale it out that way a little bit, scale it in this way a bit. I might go Control plus plus, actually I'll just go plus once, and scale the tip of the thumb down there a little bit so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so um, we can do a few things to the hand, we can select this and grab, get the grab tool, move it up, create a bit of a palm, maybe move it up a bit on the other side. We could extrude in here and get knuckles, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, again, we could um, extrude in here maybe to pull down to get a bit of a muscle happening in there at the end of the thumb. Let's select these three polys now and delete them, delete faces. Uh, we'll go into point mode and select this loop and just scale it in to make the hand a bit narrower there. Uh, we've got too many points to join this onto the arm, so I'm just going to select these two at the top. And back to move tool, and I'm going to go Alt M and merge those at center. Same at the bottom, select those two points at the bottom, Alt M, merge at center. Now, this is where we want to uh, rotate this hand a bit. Just before we do that, we might rotate these fingers to make them look a bit more relaxed. So I'm going to go one, so I'm looking at it on, uh, from the front, go Z, so I'm in um, Y frame mode. And I'm just going to do a B selection. I'm doing this a bit roughly, but I'll just do a B selection from that first joint across. I'll just make sure that I've got these, whoops, these loops here as well. So I'm just going to select. So I'm in the center of the loops. Uh, I'm going to uh, left click here, change my pivot point again to 3D cursor, and just go R and rotate that down a little bit. I'll go control minus 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 to get back to the next joint. I'll select in here, rotate down a little bit more. I'll go control minus again. In fact, that's enough. That'll do. Uh, so let's go Z. We want to join this uh, other hand onto the arm now. Uh, so we want to rotate the whole hand to select the hand. That thumb's looking a little bit small when I look at it. I'm just going to scale it up a little bit more. I think I scaled it down too much before. Just returning that to medium point. We'll just scale that up a bit. It looks a bit better. Uh, now, I'm going to go L to select the whole hand. And we just want to go R and rotate it. 
so that it's sort of the same as the uh, arm. I'm going to um, just move it in a little bit closer. Now, I'm going into point mode. Now, to join these two again, I'm going to bridge edge loops. So I'm going to select that point by alt clicking, hold the shift and alt click, right click on that side, go W and bridge edge loops. This looks good. I might just scale it down, get a bit of a thinner wrist. So um, that's basically our body and uh, our arms and legs. I might just, um, these look a bit big, don't they? I might just uh, do a little bit of sculpting. I'm going to switch these drawings off at this point. So I'll close that up again, just end to open that up. I'm going to do a bit of a scaling here. I don't like the way it looks like he's got joppers on. So I'm just going to go with some scale down in there. That looks a little bit better. Uh, looks pretty good from the side too. Might just pull that forward a little bit. The bum could do it for a little bit of work. So we'll go... In here, it sounds like I'm a plastic surgeon. So that's looking better. Alrighty, so um, just go tab and have a look. Now we can put some clothes on this guy. Uh, I'll just show you just a quick technique to do that. I know this tutorial is going for a long time, so I'm going back into um, edit mode. I want to put a uh, like a sweater on him, so I'm going to go Control R and just put a quick cut around the neck there, and I'm just going to pull it. Mm, I might do two. I put one there. I'll do another one. Control R. We'll pop it in there, and I'm just going to pull this one down. Select this one and maybe um, pull it up a little bit, just to make it a bit of a join in there. We could do a V-neck V neck by pulling the front down, but I'm not going to worry. I'm going to put a sleeve over here. So again, I'm going Control r on the uh, wrist. Uh, I'm just going to get this one, select this one by clicking, scale it up a little bit and pull it down towards that one. Again, just to get a little bit of a sweater join happening there. Uh, we'll put a belt on him, so I'll go one, I'll come in here, control R, put a cut in here, bring it down, maybe scale it up so it goes over the top, so his shirt goes over the top of his pants a little bit. You can see this is very simple to do. So again, you want to check it both sides, that maybe you're going a bit forward too much there. So let's pull it in a little bit. I think you could now this is a shirt rather than his body. This could come out a little bit more. Again the sleeve could be a bit wider if you wanted it to. Uh, so now let's just give him a pair of pants, some shoes. Uh, so I'm going to go control R a cut in here, bring it down, I'll do another one, control R, uh, we'll um, pull this one up a bit, and we'll get this top one, and we'll scale it out, and just pull it down over the top of the other one, and that's looking reasonably good, so let's go tab, let's hit the smooth, and I think that's looking pretty good. Let's um, just give his clothing a bit of a colour so we can see it's different. So um, I'm going to face my mode. I'll just go one and go Z. And I'll go C. This is like a paintbrush that I can use to select polys very quickly, or faces very quickly, or whatever you want to select very quickly. I'm just going to go Z again to see that I've got that. I think I could probably go Control plus one more to get those edges. If 
and that looks good. So I'm going over to the material uh, editor. I'm going plus. I'm going new. I'm going assign. I'm just going to put um, a color on this. Let's make it an orange sort of color. Yep. Uh, with no gloss. Uh, let's put some black pants on him. So. I'm just going to select in here and go Control plus plus. I'll select these couple of loops up the top by Shift and Alt clicking on them. I'll just grab any spare ones that I've missed there. And we'll just go plus. Oh, I didn't name that last one, so I should name this one. New. We're calling this pants. And I'm going to sign and let's make them a pair of blue jeans perhaps. So we'll go back to that. Looks pretty good. And we'll give them some black shoes. So I'm just going to go three, go Z. Again, this is just vertex colours. We can put um, proper uh, UV textures on later. It's just to give us a look at how, how it's looking. I'll go C and just select these. Colors in here. I've got too much there, so I'm going to have to zoom in and deselect these loops. You can see how how useful that uh, alt alt right click is. Uh, so again, plus new assign. I'm calling that shoe or shoes. I'm just going to make it black. Calling the diffuse down. I'll um. Up the shininess of it because it's a pair of shoes, so I'll make them nice and shiny. Uh, I'm going to go tab. There's our guy. I haven't set up lights or anything yet, so we'll um, have a look at him later. His eyes are a bit bulgy, maybe. We'll have a look at that later as well. Uh, so the next um, next video, we'll look at rigging him.